Anything could happen in here. That's one thing I've worked out with the spider tank. Well, hello again. This is week 10 of my deadly redback spider enclosure. A very dramatic week. Uh, lots of things have changed in there, but I've got to come in and do some maintenance, and I need to clean the glass. Uh, really before I come in and do anything else and what I'm going to do is something hopefully which is going to control the spidlings who will escape I'm going to put this product here Spray it onto the tray. It's a crawling insect surface spray Spray it into this tray here and hopefully any of the spidlings who jump the tank uh, will be taken out by this spray Warning this video contains graphic images of deadly redback spiders and the many spidlings that have hatched in my spider tank this week, we put in a daddy long leg spider into the redback spider tank, and this really upsets the apple cart of the alpha female redback spiders. The time that I'm doing this video, Carrie Fisher has just passed away, the Princess Leia from Star Wars, and I'm just removing the muslin cloth there, and most spiderlings actually stay inside the tank. I can't see any that have progressed up to there, although I know I have seen in the past a few get through. Ooh, week 10, who would have ever thought we'd get up to week 10? And I think uh, one egg sack was laid up during the week. You can see how murky the glass is. I put a glove on because it's less reflective in the glass there. There's a whole bunch of spiderlings grouped up there because that's where the light was where I have the tank during the day. Just spinning around, you can see, again, it's very, very messy glass. A lot of stuff has gone on in there in this last week. Uh, sadly, that large Christmas beetle <laughs> passed away. This was the side where the spiderlings uh, loved to sit when I was doing the time lapse footage and I think what I've got going on here is a whole bunch of spiderling poop that I've got to clean off uh, but you can just see how messy and untidy the tank has got by week 10. So I'll take the spider tank out of here for the moment and move it right away while I set up this tray here with some surface spray. With this spray you can spray it like this or you can put out the proboscis part there and I'm going to uh, just do a very careful spray making sure I'm not spraying too much in the air because I don't really want to breathe it but hopefully if any spidlings fall down into there they're gonna die. The tricky part to all this is not to get the spider tank cross contaminated with the spider spray and I hate to kill my black beauties. I can take the lid off now Ooh, okay, there's Spiderville. While I have the lid off, that is the underneath, and it was weeks and weeks back. I put Vaseline on this to stop the redback spiders from setting up webs. Now, from what I can see, I can't see any spiderlings on the underneath of the lid there, and I certainly can't see any spider web that's set up there as well. I've worked out Vaseline Petroleum Jelly is excellent for controlling spider webs. And before I clean the glass, I will take a very quick peek down here to show you what has gone on. The egg sacs have been disrupted. I threw in a whole bunch of Christmas beetles in there because we've just been through a Christmas time of year. I must have been about 20 Christmas beetles I threw in there. I think most of them have perished. <laughs> uh, plenty of food there for the spiderlings. Thomas the tank is looking very grubby and the bulk of the spiderlings uh, are just in that corner there and they're starting to wake up. Now with the lid off there's a fly there right in the middle of the screen. Okay so there's something in there that's attracting flies probably something rotting and dying, uh, but what I will notice is, and that happens to me every time, as soon as that lid is off, the spiderlings see my lights and uh, garage here as well, basically a place to go. And as I can see here, they're formulating their plans of escape. Over the weeks in this tank, I've had no trouble controlling the adult redback spiders, but as for trying to control these spiderlings, they are near impossible to control. So I'm just going to take the time now, come in and clean the glass very carefully, of course. And hopefully next time we come in and look inside the tank here, there'll be some nice clean glass. The cleaning process uh, is very tricky. Um, often redback spiders will get onto the things that I'm cleaning with. That's why I need my total attention and not make any video like I am now. I put some Windex on that or something to clean glass uh, and I just go around and I try and do my best to to clean, uh, but what I find is that when I'm starting to clean, um, the spiderlings just get so active, it's not funny. And I've also got to deal with spiders that are crawling up the tongs. It's a horrible, horrible job to do. I've got this little process. When I'm done with one of these, I put it into here and I put the surface spray uh, all around here. So if any spiders in that in those there, uh, they're going to die when they get up to here. That's what I'm up against all the time. Look how these guys work out how to get out and look how fast they move. 
are incredibly adaptive to changing environments, these little redbacks. And sure, it might be safe to run along up there, but if you go downstairs, there's a death sentence awaiting you. One of the largest spidlings has worked out how to get out, and it's just there. What I noticed they do is I'll drop down on the web and go back up. We'll just watch that one there for a little while. That's one of the largest spidlings that have worked out how to get out. In fact, there's lots of them working out how to get out. It'll, done, it'll jump on the web there, going down, meeting up with another friend, going back up. I think what they're waiting for is like a, a breath of wind or something. And once they get that bit of wind, they would fly off to a new location. I think that's the way these guys work. There's a spidling there just dropping down. It's right in the middle of the screen. Might be a little bit hard to see. The things are tiny. And they'll constantly just go backwards and forwards doing this jump and dropping and hoping that they're going to get caught up in a bit of wind and fly to a new zone and unfortunately that's not going to happen in my garage oh one of the larger ones has just escaped and is just down oh, I've just lost one look at that it's just down in the uh, spider killer there it's cactus uh, good night sister big time that was sad uh, she was a beauty but, but she died very fast well, it hopefully just shows my little system here has worked. I wish I had thought of this a few weeks back. A lot of little spiderlings, unfortunately, have passed away. I've just got this one here to clean, uh, but I've got the rest of the tank looking spanking. Well, down there is all little bits of uh, paper towel that I use to clean a spider tank, and I think if any spiderlings were in there, they're going to be dead because I put that spray around the edge there. But my spider tank is looking very clean now. Uh, quite a few spiderlings escaped and went to the bottom to their death. As soon as they touched that bottom there, they were gone. You can see their poor little bodies glistening in the spider spray there. Uh, sadly, one of the uh, more mature females has passed away there. I did take some video of me cleaning the tank and I will include this because I know a lot of people... Uh, would probably wonder, well Leo, how do you clean that tank? And sure, the glass gets very, very dirty, but at least now I can continue on and we can see what's going on. If there is anything alive now, I'll give it a bit of a spray like that, put the lid on, good night sister. Before we take a bit of a look around and throw in something for the spiders to contemplate, let me put some of the carrot in, because people like to see that going in. It's amazing how mushy it can be down there, it's just all squashy, yucky. There you go. Ooh, look at that. Mushy, mushy, mushy. And close up the lid before any escape. And if I'm clever, I'll get some footage from when we started this spider tank, going right back to week one, or maybe week two, and we'll compare it to the disaster zone that we see at week ten. Some big changes have gone on in here over the past ten weeks. Rightio, I'll come in and point out a couple of key things that have gone on in this tank recently. That there is the large metallic Christmas beetle from last week. It lasted about a day past the time I made week 9 video. It's sadly passed away. Those spider XX there were some of the first to be laid in this tank. I believe they have all hatched now. Uh, but from the Christmas beetles being introduced a couple of days back, they were dragged off the glass where they used to reside. That group of XX there, I believe, were the second lot to be laid in a sense or, own, or belong to another spider. I think some of those are still the hatch, but once again, the Christmas beetles caused chaos the other day. And while I've got that spider on screen, look at that one there. It looks like a red back, but there's no red on its back. Hmm. Well, what's going on there? Very strange. It might be a hybrid spider. Who knows, it may have crossbred with a Christmas beetle. It just looks very different. It's got a very shiny straw. Doesn't like that red back there. In fact, there might be a fight on as we're watching. It's just on the front of the Millennium Falcon there, and it's taking a bit of a breather. Thomas, the tank is looking very banged around. It's often been a refuge for any insects that have been in there, a recluse area where redbacks sometimes are not, uh, but it doesn't look as fresh as when I first put it in the tank. The third clumping of egg sacs were, was at the back of the tank. Uh, they went next to the cat bulldozer, as you can see. I believe there are still egg sacs there to hatch. They were the last to be laid in this tank. Uh, but once again, the Christmas beetles caused chaos and disrupted the spot where they used to be on the glass. There's one of the dominant females. When they're about to lay an egg sac, uh, the back end of them gets very large. The red stripe tends to turn orangey, less or should I say less red. What, what I've noticed is they will eat spiderlings like lollies. Uh, basically one suck and they're gone. Getting a nice look at that dominant female taking a ride on Thomas the Tank. You don't see that every day on YouTube, I can guarantee it. 
So maybe I could come in for a count of the larger females. I'm yet to see them all. There's a bit of a fight going to go on here. Anyway, there's a couple clumped together there. Let's start counting. Okay, there is one there. Two, three. There is a very strange one hiding underneath there with the glossy backside. I hope you can see that. I think that's another one that's four. Okay, turning this round. Try not to count ones I've already counted. I think there's a smaller one hiding underneath these egg sacs here. I think there's a fifth one in there. Uh, and there's other less mature ones would be the best way of saying it. In fact, there'd be lots of less mature ones because a lot of the spiderlings would be females. Some of the redback spiderlings are starting to mature. There is one hopefully in the middle of the screen there. If I bend down like that, you might see it better and pull some better focus. That's better, isn't it? Okay, I don't know what sex that one is yet. I know the spider experts will probably tell me, but uh, I'll tell you what, they're growing fast. There's another juvenile there. Oh, lost it. Disappeared. Going over the back there. Well, there is a curious clump there. Okay, so we've got juveniles there, and we've got that very strange one right in the middle of the screen, I hope. Whatever that is there, uh, maybe the audience can tell me. Uh, hopefully the one in the middle of the screen there is a juvenile male. Please correct me if I'm wrong. And I know you'll ask, as for the adult male, I think it's hiding out. I have seen it in here. Uh, it was a couple of weeks back where I thought it had died, but it actually mysteriously reappeared. I think it just has a break away from all those females. Well, I'm going to change gear here and crack the lid a little bit and introduce something into our spider tank. And it's going to be uh, Mr. and Mrs. Daddy Longlegs, who has already proven to be quite formidable against redback spiders. Okay, keeping her nice and fed. I hope it is a share. Now I'll be stood corrected. Let's see how she goes in the tank with all the redbacks. Come on, in you go, lovey. You'll like it in there. Plenty of little erected friends. Okay, she is starting to stamp around and, well, be in command. Everything is running from her as it gets around. She's finding out, wow, this isn't Kansas anymore. This is something very, very different. Quite a spectacular spider when you have a look at those daddy long legs, aren't they? Uh, it's very, very large because it has basically just eaten a cricket. It also might be heavily pregnant. Now, spider law says that these daddy long leg spiders are one of the major predators of the redback spider. I'm yet to have that proven to me. Well, as she tracks across to where some redbacks are, I'll tell you what, those redbacks are looking fairly uh, tense. I think they know there's trouble about now. What I've seen in the past is the redbacks will take out predators really fast. Anything that threatens them uh, gets the web wrapping really quickly. Uh, will this daddy long legs last a couple of hours in here, a couple of minutes, or a couple of weeks? Well, that alpha female there knows there's someone in the tank here who isn't welcome. She's probably formulating a plan to get rid of it. And Mrs. Daddy Longlegs is having a real adventure in there, going all over the tank. Put it this way, I haven't seen a red back come up and uh, put out a sticky web and try and take her out yet. You know what? She might be the formidable enemy that everyone says. Oh, she's doing this crazy thing where the spidlings are. I wonder how the spidlings are going to react to her. I wonder if they know in the little spider sense that she could be a major threat. That female red back is looking very wary with uh, Mrs. Daddy Longlegs in there. Well, she's made a couple of runs at the Vaseline line and uh, has basically fallen back down. Oh, and there looks like it could be a red back coming up the back here. Probably going to say, hey, what are you doing in my tank? Time to leave. In fact, that uh, female is looking highly agitated, extremely agitated. Probably going to suck on a couple of spiderlings for a last lunch. Anything could happen in here. That's one thing I've worked out with this spider tank. We've got red backs in the foreground, red back in the background there. And Mrs. Daddy Longlegs in the sandwich in between. Oh, I've seen this behavior before. Look at them ganging up. Uh, there is one to three female redbacks and Mrs. Daddy Longlegs right in the middle. It might be a concerted effort here to take the Daddy Longlegs out. They're probably very aware uh, that they've got a major threat in their tank. And if anything is going to happen, it tends to happen very fast. That's one constant that I've seen with the redback spiders. Mrs. Daddy Longlegs is actually scampered by the redbacks there. 
they give that spider there a lot of respect. That's what I noticed when I had one of those spiders up against one redback in the Tank of Death. Remember, they did the individual video. Maybe I've uploaded that, maybe I haven't. But I noticed that uh, there seems to be mutual respect between this spider here and the redbacks. Well, Mrs. Daddy Longlegs is doing a lot of scampering around. I'll tell you what, the redbacks are very, very careful with this spider. Mmm. Maybe it is the awesome predator that people tell me about, hey? Ooh, yes. Kissy, kissy, but no body, body as yet. In a sense, it's right in the middle of the tank. Uh, there are a couple of little spidlings getting about near it, but it's probably just pondering and trying to work out exactly where it's gone to. Well, Mrs. Daddy Longlegs is certainly having a tour de force in there. Extremely hard to keep focus on this damn thing. That's all I know. I'll tell you what, the red backs are, uh, well, put it this way, they're not pouncing on a... How many spiders have we seen the red backs pounce on in this tank? Yet she gets to roam free. I think these girls are actually very fearful of their life at the moment. They're, they're acting very strange. I'll just get focused on her there. Uh, put it this way, they're not that comfortable at all. It is... Uh, to me, it's very curious when I see the Redbacks acting together. And at the moment, well, I've got one female there. If I pull back here, there is another female there. And if I spin the tank very carefully, there's another one there. Now, normally I like to keep the ground and keep separated, but with this Daddy Long Legs in the tank, these girls are basically all together. Maybe the Redback Spidlings can uh, work as a team, because well, there's lots of them and get multiple bites into this daddy long legs probably the the weakest link in that spider is the fact it's got very long dangly legs mind you <laughs> i can't see the adult redbacks uh, even attempting to attack the spider which i think says a lot about it so what's your thoughts on this one do you think that daddy long legs is going to be the major predator and kill all the redback spiders or do you think the redback spider is going to come in for the clean kill as we've seen every other time. You game to make a prediction of what's going to go on here? Come on, I know you can. Tell me who's going to be the winner, who is going to be the loser. Maybe we can start the hashtag pray for redbacks because I've got a sneaky suspicion they're going to need every prayer the internet can offer. Just found that uh, little spider there. It's caught up in some redback web. And I think the Redbacks know it's in trouble. A uh, Redback with no red in its back. Who knows, it could be a Black Widow. I just really don't know. It's the strangest thing I've seen. Oh, it just did a poop, I think, then. You see, I don't know. I've, I think I've seen everything apart from these things, mate. And I think it's going to come down and... Oh, dear, oh, dear. It's going to be one of those things. Here we go. I'm sure it's a Redback. Look at the way it works. How many times... Have we seen that? And it's the strangest red back. It's got no red in its back, hey? That was the zone where that spider was under the track there. And that little spider I introduced, it's Goodnight Sister. I never get bored uh, watching the way the red backs masterfully kill other spiders. And it's going to be so curious to see if the Daddy Longleg spider can basically win it over the red back spider. I still, I still doubt that it's going to happen like that, but hey, I might be totally wrong. And I think what happens, the web goes in, then the bite goes in, then the venom takes effect, it basically turns the spider into mush, and then the redback's got something to suck on all night long. Always oh, nice to finish with a kill, isn't it? I'll try to do it every time for you. It's actually got quite a few of the redbacks in there aroused, whatever happened there. I don't know, or maybe I've bred a new species in this tanky. I, redbacks have had a red back. To me, that's a total mystery. And here comes one of the larger redbacks to say hello. <laughs> oh, it wants a feed. It's coming in for a fight. Might be we're going to see a, the death of a redback here. <sighs> They're evil, aren't they? And now Cricket's going to come in for a bit of a bite. What is going on here? Have you thought that was all fun and games? Look who's lurking just above. Mrs. Daddy Trouble Legs, watch out Redbacks, your days may be numbered.